To create a Warrior Plus account, just go to warriorplus.com and you'll land on this page. This is the home page. And you can see at the top there, you can register or sign in. So in this case, we're creating a new account. So we'll click on register. And you'll be taken to this page here. This is where you're going to be signing up for a free Warrior Plus account. So you can see it's asking for a username, a password, an email address. And here you can select whether or not you want to receive notifications about special offers and updates. You'll then need to... Um, fill out the capture code and create your account. So I'll do that now and I'll come back shortly. So once you select the um, the capture code, once you check the, check the box, then you'll see this, um, this verification process appear. So select all the images with a bus in the image. So there's one here, 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 and I think that's it. Okay, uh, select all the images with a bus again. So they've obviously changed as I've done them. I'm going to click verify. Okay, so that's verified that, and then just click on the create account button. Next, you'll see this page where it's telling you that uh, you need to just verify your email address to activate your account. So we'll go over to my Gmail, and you can see here from Warrior Plus, I've got an email. So I'm going to open that, and just to ver verify my account, click the uh, click to complete the registration. So I'm going to click this link here. Okay, so you can see that that says success, your account is now activated. So now I can use those um, that email address or username and the password that I chose to log in. So I'll do that now. So once you've logged in, you'll see that you've been sent to a uh, page where you can edit your profile. So you can see in this case, I've just set up this uh, test account. So I'm using um, my name with, with two T's in the, in the surname there, just for um, demonstration purposes. So I've got my username. Um, full name, okay, so you can complete your full name, location, uh, short bio or tagline, so this is obviously going to appear on your profile when someone um, clicks on your link to, your, uh, to check you out, a company name, a company title, a time zone, so it's a drop down menu, just find which uh, time zone you're in, email address, so this is obviously just the one that I've created for this test purpose, uh, cell number, Skype name, Bear in mind as well, you don't have to um, add all of these details. You know, if you haven't got Skype or you don't want to add a phone number, then um, you don't necessarily need to. So you've got another one there, coach.io UID. Um, country, select your country, postcode. And this is where you'd add a long uh, bio or introduction. So again, with these, obviously, when you're typing this in, you've, you've got the uh, WYSIWYG sort of editor where you can sort of use bold, uh, text and that kind of thing, different styles and that kind of stuff, uh, just to sort of make it maybe stand out a little bit more. So good idea, obviously, to um, add a profile image of yourself there. Um, remembering that when you're creating your profile, you know if your people, if you your idea is to sort of connect with people as well, you know, similar to your social media, people want to have some kind of connection with you as well. They want to they want to trust you, especially if you're a product vendor, product uh, creator as well. So it's a good idea to have a picture of yourself um, and, you know, use your own name. Um, you know, it's just going to help with that sort of trust factor as well. So you can um, upload your picture of your uh, yourself there. And you can see here over to the right, you can connect your Facebook, your LinkedIn, Google Plus and Twitter. So you can also add a cover photo. So you've got the dimensions there, um, 590 by 2, 240. Uh, again, with with um, previous videos and uh, checklists that I've created, uh, I mentioned Canva quite a lot. Now, if you go to canva.com, you can actually um, create a custom um, banner or, or cover photo. You can You can set the dimensions to those or to whatever you need and then you can use the uh, ready-made templates or it's just simply drag and drop images and upload images to create cover photos for kind of any sort of social media um, but you could also obviously use it for this as well so you could create your cover image in Canva and then uh, and then upload it to Warrior Plus so you've also got a vendor logo again <laughs> with Canva you can uh, you can set the dimensions as well or you, it's actually got ready-made templates on there for logos as well. So you could you could take out take a look at all the logo templates and just edit those uh, to suit your own company, so or your own business. So you can then come back like create in Canva, come back and then upload it there as well. 
So if you want to know more about using Canva, then uh, if you check out the videos on my YouTube channel, then you'll see that uh, I'll go through that briefly and I've actually provided a whole, a whole course on how to use Canva as well. So once this is done, then just simply update your profile. So if I click on that now, I don't know if it's um, going to work just yet because I've not filled any information out. Okay, so obviously, yeah, I need to sort of fill, at, at least fill these in here. So full name, so I'll put that in here for this purpose here. And what else? Location. Time zone. Where is it? There we go. And what else was that country? So UK. Okay, so I'll leave that for now. Update. Profile successfully updated. So you can see there, that's the minimum that you need to add. And um, you can come back and obviously edit your profile at any stage later on. And you can also check your profile. If you see this view pro public profile, if click that. Then this is obviously how it's going to look to other people. So you'd have your image there. Um, you gradually sort of start getting followers on Warrior Plus, and you'd have your profile information here. And as you start, you know, if you're creating products, then obviously you'd have a list of products here as well. So just follow those instructions, and you'll have your Warrior Plus account all up and running.